In this problem, we're told the position of a particle as a function of time is given by r equals 9.6 times t i plus 8.85 j minus 1 times t squared k. This is in meters, so let's just rewrite it. So r equals 9.6 t times i plus 8.85 j minus 1 t squared times k. And so this whole thing is meters. So we're told to determine the particle's velocity and acceleration as a function of time. So if you remember from calculus, if you take the derivative of a position function, uh, you're going to get uh, velocity. So if you take the derivative of a position, you get velocity. And if you take the derivative of a velocity function, you get acceleration. So if we want to find the velocity function of this, we just got to take the derivative of this function. So let's go ahead and do that. So the derivative of 9.6t is just going to be 9.6, right? Because if you have a variable and you take the derivative of it, it's just going to be the variable out or the coefficient out front. And then don't forget your i. So 9.6i, and then the derivative of 8.85j. This is just a constant. So the derivative of a constant is zero. So it could be plus zero. I'm not going to include it though. And then we need to take the derivative of minus one t squared. So we just move the exponent out front. So it's minus two times t. Right, and then 2 minus 1 up top, it's just going to become 1, so you just leave it. So 9.6i minus 2t, and then the k, don't forget the k. And then this whole thing is going to be in meters per second. So you write it like this, meters per second. So this is going to be our velocity, so 9.6i minus 2t, k. And then we want to find acceleration. So the derivative of 9.6i is just going to be 0, right, because it's a constant. Then it's going to be plus the derivative of minus 2t is just going to be minus 2 because if you have a coefficient times a variable the derivative of it is just the coefficient out front so minus 2 and then the k so minus 2k and then keep in mind that acceleration is meters per second squared so this is going to be your acceleration and this is going to be your velocity as a function of time